what's up scrollers it's nerp here and i'm now ranked number two almost at 1800 rating uh, i've been using ag growth with a lot of the new echo scrolls and we're going to try to win a rank match today and hopefully get to the top spot so i have a lot of echo scrolls in this and we're, oh pq that means we will definitely become number one after this we'll gain a lot of rating and i'm going to mulligan this hand because i don't have a two drop or one drop and this is not amazing, but it's, uh, I guess, slightly better because I have a couple turns to see that I can draw a 3-drop. And I'm getting a bit of lag. I've been getting a lot of lag in scrolls. I don't know why. It's like, my internet has been okay, but just in scrolls I've been getting so much lag. It's really annoying. Decay. Ugh. Spotted Lynx is not, not that good against DK. I'll hold on to that um, Ragged Wolf in case we see a Soul Stitch on Hopefully I can just snipe that Ragged Wolf, uh, that Meyer Shepherd with the Ragged Wolf. And I'd really like to top deck a 3 drop. Maybe the new, the, the Menher. Um, that's definitely good against DK. Let's see what PewQ has here. I'm running with the spotted lynx. It's not really that strong. Obviously maybe uh Does he have a turn two play? He does, okay, so he, maybe this is one of those decay growth decks. And I'm going to Get rid of the rally and go ahead and just actually I'm not gonna take you out because that's just gonna give him order when she's which means he's gonna be able to sacrifice her wild and wild is pretty good for him. Okay, yeah, very nice. He did not have. He did not have a. Whatever it's called. A soul steal. And now with the keeper spudge, I can actually clear this row. And I think I'll do that. I'll get rid of the steelwood champion for scrolls. So, keeper's pledge. Ragged Wolf. Clears the board. Uh, but now he can start sacrificing for wild. At least I didn't destroy that Ragged Wolf, the uh, thing a turn ago. Or else he would be able to. Now he was, a, he was a forced to go to 3 decay. Because he had to. He was going to play something that cost 3 decay. He did get a scroll and order for me killing those two guys though. But I think that was a net positive turn for me. Because now this thing is out. And I'm going to start playing some. Uh, one countdown creatures, maybe even that earthen mirth on the wetland ranger. Thinking through his turns here. All right, is this a new idol? I didn't check the store if there's new idols. I don't think I've seen this idol before. I've just been rocking the pies ever since they came out. So it does sacrifice some more resources here. It does look like the decay growth decks. I mean, Decay Order Decks, those were, used to be popular by like Donkey74 or like a while ago. It seems to be making a comeback. Um, I'll get rid of one of the Earthen Mirths. Pretty easy call here. And. Ah, the stupid lag. And I'll just play it like that so I'm kind of engaging the entire board. Okay. So my spotted lynx will attack next turn as long as he plays one, some kind of creature. And we still hope it, there's no soul steal. Righteous partisan. Okay. Um hmm. yeah, I'm th yeah, I'll go veteran. I will definitely go veteran here. And I will Earthen Mirth is really nice. 
I will get rid of it though. I think I'd rather just have creatures reply so I can increase everybody's attack. And also, I already have two things on the board who can soul steal, so adding a third thing next turn won't really be too bad. So doing this will allow me to get the pillage effect and increases all these guys' attack. Um and I yeah, I don't really have to separate him because he's for him to clear my like blows he needs to have uh, something with one countdown so or zero countdown so he can use Tempo Theft Harvester or Tempo Theft Arbalest here and he's not that high in resources yet where he can do it with nothing at where he gets Tempo Theft my thing and then Soul Steal also. So I'm pretty safe right now. I want to get some big creatures out. So far this game only played this from Echoes and this from Echoes. But big things in this deck from Echoes that have helped me a lot are, like I said, the overgrown men here, like the little rock thing that makes everybody start with like one countdown. Uh, the, what's it called? The... 3-2-3 three, three guy that has a relentless when he gets the pillage activated. Okay, uh, do I... Tough sacrifice here. I'm going to roll the dice and get rid of the veteran. Or, no, I really can't. I probably shouldn't. Uh... I will. I'm gonna roll the dice and get rid of the veteran. And it pays off, yes. I will play the overgrown men here. here. I want to somehow optimize my damage. Should I do five in the middle? I th think that's an okay alignment. And that's just gonna really speed me up. And unfortunately, my Keeper's Pleasure is going away. I think it was worth playing it. I got quite a bit of extra damage just playing one creature per turn. And he didn't really get to use it. Uh, he is at now 8 total resources, so I have to watch out for big plays. Bigger extraction in secret. Uh, another Ren here, I don't think, I think 2 isn't really necessary. I mean, your things will come in with haste, but I'd rather start getting more creatures down. And... Looks like I'll just play everything. Uh, I'll go like this. Since I have so many things at two health, anyways, I might, I might just play the Steelwood Vindicator. Nah, I do like the pillage though from the Recluse. Yeah, I'll play the Recluse. And also the Keen Warden, just because. What I like about playing Decay is they really can't clear your board too fast. They can. They kind of have to have something in the board already. So it's kind of easy to just aggro rush them down. It's always tough if they get a Witch Doctor down, but Puku's playing more controllish deck, and he really needs to get some, like... I think it's a little health, so if I'm... If I can't win soon... Pukyu will be able to come back, I'm a, and I'm still a little worried, because Pukyu is an amazing player, and if anybody can come back from situations like this, it would be him. So right now I'd say I'm looking for a Consolidator Niara, really an amazing scroll, increases the attack of all your dudes. I I think uh, Aggroth like this might be the best deck in the game right now. I mean, this scroll's really good, only 2 health, but... I mean, two health structures are really only not so good against energy. Every other faction is okay. I mean, they get out of growth quakes, but. Yeah. He's sacrificing for scrolls a bit, so it looks like he's fishing for scrolls he needs. He's a lot of resources. Nine total resources. Not enough to, like, completely clear my board in one turn. I don't have an idol destroyed yet, but the three middle ones are considerably weak. Pukyu's taking his time here. Uh, 
infiltrate on my Wetland Ranger and I'll do it. Okay, so he kind of just slows me down a tiny bit. Hmm, Keeper's Pledge. I think I like that more than the Steelwood Vindicator. Uh. Well. Now I kind of wish I sacrificed the Keeper's Pledge if I knew I was going to draw another one. Because then I could get this guy to one attack, which means he could. He could be able to get this pillage effect off. But since that's not the case, I'm just going to play the Fang Bear this turn. Uh, I'll take out that idol. I'll take out that idol. And I will maneuver my way around here. So that I can set myself up for win next turn. I mean, I guess this zero attack thing right up in the middle is kind of locking me up. But it's going to be tough for PQ to come back. Just placing everything around this thing. All these things attack so quickly. What are these? Are these like potted plants? Looks like looks some like vases I'm like destroying here. QQ hasn't touched my pies yet. Okay, is he gonna have is does he have a way to make that attack? If so, ouch. He would need a tempo theft and a way to kill a creature. Just tempo theft soul steal. Yeah, so I think he's able to do it. That was actually Probably bad placement by me lining up three at nice attacking units like that. And he's probably gonna like soul steal the spotted links. Uh oh. I don't wanna let this one get away. Feels like I am in a good position. It's hard for him to protect all the idols. Yeah, uh, and, it, and it spawns in the middle for him. Darn. Well, let's see. Let's get rid of the Keeper's Pledge. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the Harvester right away. Let's play the Keeper's Pledge. And let's, and let's play the Kinfolk Brave. Okay, you go away. Ah, this stupid Keen Warden is in the way. I'm gonna put... I'm gonna keep you there. Get you out of the way. Yeah, I'm just gonna spread out. I still probably have a few more turns where I can still win the game. Uh, it's okay leaving like this Magic Emily here because he probably wants to use a damning curse and it would kill that anyways for the scholar it's good for him it's almost like a sister of the fox in a way you get a scroll when you play it really just like an upgraded wretched partisan for one more cost i mean i was tempted last turn not to go with just like a stone recluse or a steel adventicator to get another relentless unit attacking the following turn also, what's nice, there is a human on his side of us, so if I draw a rally, assuming this guy survives, of course, I can do some good things. He did have a kabonk, but then again, I may not have drawn a rally, so maybe that was good that he had to waste his resources being afraid of that bear. Right, he's going to wall up in the middle. So, just like an earthen mirth and a creature, I would have been able to win here. I could go for more resources, but no, I'm gonna... I mean, it is just like a Crimson Bowl if I play two creatures. I think it's safer to sacrifice this. I mean, I have to take the risk, I think. I have to keep getting... I have to keep drawing scrolls. Um... Yeah, I think that's worth it. I think I have to clear this middle row. It's definitely what I have to do. Unfortunately, you're not gonna get the Pillage effect still. And now I'll play the Great Wolf, a nice big relentless unit. 
Okay. Yeah. Looks like we might have a chance to come back, but now it looks completely in my favor once again. Just looking for... This deck I have right now, it has a lot, a lot of creatures. I'll have the uh, deck list in the description. You'll see it has like 33 creatures or something. Maybe a little bit more. Uh, I do have some creatures like the uh, Steelwood Vindicator. He's like a guy that's kind of utility too with inspiring. So not all the creatures are like vanilla. So, And also the Niara. Like, I don't have to have Crimson Bowls in the deck because she's there. So it's a little deceiving. There are enough utility things in the deck. But I might consider taking out some of the creatures and just adding more. Because it feels like every turn here I'm always having so many options of creatures. Like I always see myself not playing Steelwood Vindicators for some reason. Oh, I said I think I said Steelwood Vindicator before uh, for the Inspiring guy. I'm talking about the... I forgot the Inspiring guy's name. The 4 cost guy, 4, 2, 3. And wow, that was a big turn by PewQ. But let's see if I can just draw a Rally. Um... Get rid of the Steelwood Vindicator. Ragged Wolf is close to winning. Oh, is is it actually winning? Play this. I don't know. Is it? And I'm gonna play two things anyways. Oh no, it's not gonna be. I'm gonna be one one attack away. Uh in that case I will still play that. I just wanna get in all my damage. But I am going to actually put it on the bottom idol instead. It's really nice having those one count down creatures coming in with haste. Okay. Oh, this great wolf and this guy, two of my two, like probably two most valuable creatures on the board right now, are lined up for a harvester to kill them, or an arbalest deer. I haven't seen any arbalest deers from PQ yet. Maybe he hasn't run them. You will see. Infiltrate there kind of tells me he's not gonna die yet, but he I really have to get that guy to attack oh, Let's draw a rally 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 won't be bad Niara won't be bad if I drew a Niara would I play it? or would I sacrifice the scrolls fishing for a rally if it had lethal I probably sacrifice the scrolls what I sacrifice one rally so far I think I have three rallies in the deck Okay, so you have six more resources to play with this turn. Just gonna wall up the creatures, I guess. Oh, and a soul steal on that, which I guess that doesn't really matter for me. Uh, so, Rally is the game. Rally is the game indeed. Uh, Steelwood Champion. Oh, you have double language? Ouch. I will get rid of the Vindicator. Another Menher. Maybe. Maybe I shouldn't do that this turn. I mean. I should probably just play another Wetland Ranger, right? To keep the pillage going. I think so. So let's go ahead and play that. I'll let him have more stuff. And then Keen Warden. Right here just because. Okay. And Puke survives another turn. And he's 
he's not gonna run out of stuff like infiltrate and vigor extraction. His deck cycles much faster than mine. Oh, he's at thirteen resources. I am scared. I am very scared. I need that rumble. Give me a rumble. I think I have two rumbles in the deck. This is very, very aggressive. Like what I did, I took the old aggro growth deck for me. Took out um, a bunch of utility scrolls. Took out stacker. Took out Earthborn Mystic. Funny to think that Earthborn Mystic was uh, widely considered the most OP scroll in the game by far about six months ago, and now I'm not playing it in my competitive aggro growth deck. Took that out. I took out stack hearts. I took out uh, ancestral totem. I mean Niaro, and then the keeper's pledge kind of gives enough attack, and then the menher is really nice. Uh, okay, so he is going to get that thing to attack, but is the great wolf going to survive? He's probably just going to use a tempo from the great wolf. Yeah, I still need a rally to win this. Come on. Just bring me a route. Maybe I, should, maybe I should focus on all the idols at once. Another Great Wolf. Well, I'm still going to sacrifice the scrolls then. Oh, Steelwood Champion. I'm going to... Steelwood Champion is pretty good inspiring. I'm probably going to play that. Oh, Steelwood Champion Ragged Wolf. Don't think that's game, but I can do a lot of damage. You are not going to have any attack. I have to remember that. Uh, how do I do this? How oh, is your right? You're like in the way here. Hmm. Well, I have to get you somewhere. I think I just play a Steelwood Champion here. I can't really do much. Yeah, I can't really maneuver. Can't even play a Ragged Wolf, really. I'll just save the Ragged Wolf. I don't, I don't have any, uh... What's it called? I don't have any... Ooh, let me read your pillage, of, pillage effect this turn. So I finally stopped that. Again, this guy's about to attack. He's been waiting to get that, uh... Relentless plus two attack off. Feels like he's been waiting the whole game. Maybe it would have been wise a couple turns ago just to play that second men here. And then I can uh, get things coming out with haste. Am I pronouncing that right? Men her? M E N H I R? I don't know. So yeah, you can. Uh, Check this deck out in the description and then fiddle with it all you want. Right now it seems to be working well for me. Also, um, somebody commented uh, about the hyphens in the description between the deck list. Uh, that is not something I can control, unfortunately. For some reason, when you paste a long, like, I guess a long uh, string of text, uh, YouTube description will automatically just like place dashes I, I assume in like places where the line cuts off uh, but I can't really do anything about it and some people ask me can I just send a link to scrolls of the deck then but I like to always change my scrolls decks and stuff oh my god that was it oh, he keeps getting crazy turns actually well I'm just not winning yet oh okay I'll have to let's figure this out He's running out of scrolls, though. He doesn't have that many more scrolls, does he? Um, I think I have to get those great wolves out. Uh, let's uh get rid of this. For scrolls. 
There's a Niara and a Rumble. Okay. Up. Let's move our move our efforts. <sighs> Doesn't have that many scrolls. Don't know what he's able to do here. Niara is tempting to play this turn, but I might have a possible win with a Rumble and a Ragged Wolf. Definitely would need this guy not to get Tempo Theft or Damage Curse, though. This would be one of those remarkable PUQ comebacks if he manages to win this. I don't think I played too badly though. No real glaring mistakes. If I drew a rally a couple turns I would have won. I still haven't drawn that rally yet. Alright, well... Tells me he probably doesn't have a tempo theft because... Unless he just drew a tempo theft with that kabonk. Because he would play tempo theft first then kabonk so he gets that guy to attack. Uh, so let's get a... No, that wouldn't work anymore. And a pack of Okay, so... A Rumble could win. A Rumble could win. I will have... 5 attack coming in. Or 6 attack coming in the middle row. Moving that down helps. I'm rumbling. Oh, uh, now maybe I don't. Do I rumble? Yeah, we're rumbling. Yay! GGWP. Phew! That was uh, close. Let's play that just for good measure. Make sure we didn't lose this game. GGWP. Finally! <laughs> Looks like I was probably going to win like so easily on round 7. Yay, we get a scroll award. And I'm above 1800, maybe number one now. Infested husk. Plus 15, did we pass holofoil uh, for number one? It would, be first, it would be my first time at number one in quite a while. I spent a lot of time at number one a while ago, but haven't been on ever since my like couple month hiatus. Yay! Rank number one. So hopefully I keep that this weekend. There's like I think there's new the new avatar stuff comes out, so I can grab some of that stuff. And I guess that'll be it for today. So like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content like this, follow on Twitch, follow on Twitter, and I will see you all next time. Keep on scrolling, scrollgers.